Hola, mi amigos. Como esta? Welcome to the Spanish version, the Spanish cast of Craig's Watch Along. So we are good. We have found a solution, which we hope you guys enjoy. It will be more stable for you. And let me say, I cannot be more grateful to Ben and Connor for the amazing work they've done in the background today to make sure that you guys get to see my beautiful face in it, all of its glory, how it should be seen. So we good? We in? We're ready to go? Good. Now we're we're relaxed. We're we're much calmer. Happy day. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And again, look, I do apologize, but I, I want to just say again, put this on the actual record, you know, put it on the real record. I, I can't thank Ben and Connor enough today. Elon, you're a bastard. <laughs> but uh but these two gentlemen, thank you so much for all your help today. Look. Uh, it is a pleasure to be with you all. We are about 12 minutes away from kickoff. I'm going to go through the Liverpool team again for you guys. Uh, if there's any little errors that you notice on screen or anything, don't worry about it. We're here, we're chatting, we're together, and that's the main thing. Right, let's go through the Liverpool team. And it is, of course, Alisson Becker in goal. Then it's Trent Alexander-Arnold, Ibrahim Akanade, Virgil van Dijk, Costas Chimikas, Alexis McAllister, Dominic Soboslai, Ryan Gravenberg, Diogo Jota, Mohamed Salah, and Darwin Nunez. For the bench, we've got Adrian, Kelleher, Gomez, Endo, Gakpo, Elliot, Matip, Chambers, and McConnell. For Nottingham Forest, this is what Steve Cooper has gone with. It's Turner, Mangala, Sangar, Gibbs-White, Dominguez, Niakate, Alanga, Aurier, Bolly, Murillo, and Aina. That is your Nottingham Forest starting eleven, And that special Nottingham Forest fan that we're all thinking of right now will be very nervous. But she's in the kitchen and she's grand. Like, I wouldn't worry about her too much. She's she's pretty calm about the game today. Because that's who we were all thinking about when I said Forest fan. Don't even thought. Don't try it on me today. Don't try it. You're not getting the better of me today. It's Halloween. I'm ready for hijinks. McAllister at DM doesn't work. Uh, broccoli for Ben and Connor as a reward. Uh, yes. Broccoli all round. Broccoli juice for everybody. Oh, so you never got me the drink. She never got me to drink, so I can't review it. There you go. Blame Sabrina. We need a new emoji. Blame the wife. Uh, there we go. She's making you broccoli. Yeah, if I hear a blender going in the kitchen, I'm running. I'm running. 3-0. Uh, the only time... No, I was going to say the only thing that looks like. Broccoli's never okay. Do you know how bad it is now? But like, People are now sending me photos of broccoli on their plate. You know, in my Discord group, whenever the lads are having dinner or the ladies, I get photos of them having broccoli on their plate. Uh, it, they're in cahoots with big broccoli. <laughs> 3-0 today, and uh, we can do a minute's clap in the seventh minute to Jack Nickel. Origi's injured, I believe, unfortunately, for uh, for Forrest and Odivok today. Blame the wife, said Ian Greenscreen. Well, I always do, my man. I always do. Did you hear about the sad news about Lucho? Yes, unfortunately. So, look, let's just recap for those who may not have heard yet. Last night, reports came out of Colombia that Luis Diaz's parents were kidnapped. Now, quite quickly after that news broke, uh, we got a little bit of good news that Luis Diaz's mother was returned uh, unhurt and safe and sound. But we still are unaware of the situation with Luis Diaz's father. There were, there were um, unconfirmed reports which turned out to be false that his father was okay. They were printed in the media, but were retracted because it isn't okay. Uh, he isn't back, I should say. Uh, also, we unfortunately had the sad news last night that Matthew Perry, Chandler Bing, as we mostly would know him from friends, sadly passed away. So, of course, our thoughts and best wishes are with him and his family, I should say. It's, um, it's just been a very, very chaotic week in the world in general. Uh, another one not on the TV. Yeah, yes, another one not on the TV. But I've got it. Don't you worry about it. I've got you. Alison or Edder. Oh, look, there he is. There he is, the fucking human broccoli-headed mighty red twat. I swear, I'm going to see mighty... Is that Jonathan? I'm going to see mighty red run out there one day with two sticks of broccoli in his hand. I know. I know he's in on it. Him and Big Broccoli are in cahoots. Yes, perfecto. Why the hell is Liverpool not on TNT Sports or something? I know, it's shocking, right? 
Um, it's shocking. I thought this game was going to be on today. 2 p.m. kickoffs are usually on Sky, but nope. They've gone for one and half three for the Manchester Derby, of course. Uh, yeah, so it's we're either not on TV or we're on half twelves. Did I watch the Nganu fight last night? Matthew, I did, and he won. You know, don't let those judges fool you. He won. He won. We know he won. And Ghanu knew he won. He was so gracious, by the way, as well, Francis. You know, the man is a class act through and through. To take that with the dignity he did last night, um, you know, much love for Francis and Ghanu. Brian, LFC USA is in the house, gifting 20 Anfield Agenda memberships. Brian, thank you so much. Is it 433? We believe so. Broccoli or Mighty Red? Broccoli. At least broccoli serves some purpose, unlike Mighty Red. Uh, so, everyone that was gifted a membership, well done. Fair play. Uh, John Conway, how are you, mate? I said hello. I hope you're well, John. Nice to see you win again. There's Steve Cooper. I rate Steve Cooper as a coach, by the way. So, yes, we are uh, seven minutes away from kickoff. And uh, thank you guys for being with us today. We appreciate your support. Apologies about all the technical hiccups, but thankfully we got there in the end. The two guys deserve massive praise today, Connor and Ben, for their amazing work to get us up and ready to go. Um, I watch it on Optus, said Steo, who must be over in Australia, I think, for Optus. We back in Darwin to get a hat trick. Oh, a hat trick. I love that. Ballsy. Well in. Where's Newlon? Uh, no Newlon today. No Newlon. That's what she said. No, Nulon. That's what she said. Where are you watching from? Uh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm watching it in my house, but I'm watching it on The Zone. I have a Spanish The Zone account that, uh, thankfully, when we need an emergency, we break glass and whip it out. Again, insert, that's what she said joke there. Mike, thank you for gifting an Anfield Agenda membership, my friend. Why did you insult me? What the fuck? I don't know who you are. And I certainly haven't spoken to you in any way, shape, or form. So if you feign some insult from somewhere, uh, best of luck with it. Write a book about it. I'm sure the publishers will be just, just tripping over themselves to figure out your fairy tale story, mate. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, a troll came in and nobody gave a fuck. Did I watch the Rugby World Cup? I did. It wasn't the greatest spectacle of a game, but my God, it was um, it was physical. It was grueling and um, incredibly close. I mean, yeah, it was it was very captivating to watch. When are you doing the drink? I'm not keen. Sabrina forgot. That's that's what happened. Mate. My wife doesn't love me. Is what happened. The men look at a mission today. I would imagine they are. Look, it's going to be difficult for the boys today. You know, they're going to be thinking about their teammate. They're going to be thinking about Lucho's family, of course. That You know, the fact that these boys are even playing today is, uh, is a testament to their mental strength. And, of course, all of our best wishes are, are with the Diaz family on, on, in this incredibly difficult time. The world can be an incredibly cruel place at times, and um, we all just pray and hope for the return of the Diaz family. Um his mum obviously back home, but we hope for the return of his father soon. Why does Jota start over Gakpo? I can only imagine it's to do with um it's to do with him coming back from injury. Maybe Clapper just doesn't feel he's ready to, to go for 60 65 yet. Why am I seeing the words lagging, lads? Right, let's again go through the starting 11 for today for the Reds. It's Alisson in goal, Trent at right back, Costas at left back. I nearly said Robbo there just on autopilot. Uh, it's Alisson in goal, Trent at right back, Costas at left back, Canade and Van Dijk in the centre back positions, McAllister, Sobosla, and Gravenberg in midfield with Jota, Salah, and Nunes. Yeah. 
don't forget my friends if you are new to the channel as well we'd love you to hit that subscribe button drop a like on the stream and again thank you for coming to join us today forest team i will go through for you now as well it's turner mangala sangar gibbs white dominguez inketia or excuse me near cafe my apologies uh, alanga aurier bolly murillo and aina that is your nottingham forest team today The red mist has descended. I like that. 4-0. Bonkers is going for. I'm going to stick up my 3-0 prediction. We are uh, we're moments away from this game starting, by the way. So sit back, relax, and I'll do my best to take you through the game. Right, so I will let you guys know we're about to kick off. And again... Thank you for being with us. We uh, appreciate your support today. We appreciate your understanding with the issues we had, but sometimes these things are just out of our control. Uh, loads of people saying thanks for gifted subs as well. Yes, there was 20 gifted subs earlier on from Brian, LFC USA. Thank you for that, Brian, as always. Who's the captain? Our captain, Verge. Uh, yes, when Verge plays, Verge will be the captain. He's the club captain. When he's not, Trent, of course, will take the armband. <coughs> No, nope. because nobody told me they were on it. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're being brought to you by, well, the people you need on a day like today when the game isn't on TV. We're proudly being brought to you with thanks to our friends at Surfshark. Don't forget, you can get yourselves a fantastic offer. You can get yourself for less than two quid a month and three months additional free by scanning the QR code on the screen or getting yourself to Surfshark and putting in the code Anfield Agenda on sign up. All one word, Anfield Agenda will get you that amazing offer. Surfshark is, of course, an app and browser extension that allows you to browse the internet anonymously, changing your location, making you safe and secure from hackers, but most importantly, giving you access to set your location in a particular part of the world. Today, as an example, if you want to be in Spain to watch this game, well, guess what? Get to Surfshark, set your location in Spain, and it is as simple as that. We wouldn't be here without our friends at Surfshark, and thank you so much to them for their continued support. They're our longest partner here on the channel, and we really are very grateful. Even got four months free. Look at that. Four months. Whoop, whoop. Love that. Well in. Growing up on TV, did you watch the show, Friends? Of course, yes. We mentioned about the passing of Matthew Perry earlier on, and um, incredible, incredibly sad. Yeah, it's it's been a strange old month, hasn't it? You know, we, Sir Bobby Charlton, Bill Kenwright obviously passed away as well. Matthew Perry, what's happened with Lucho's mum and dad. Like, it's just a very strange, surreal time in the world. Right, the Reds are in a huddle, as Verge uh, has added to our pre-match. So, we are going to be attacking the cop first half today. We don't really like doing that, so we must have lost the toss. Liverpool will be kicking off. Just waiting for the final checks from the referee. It will be Dominic Soboslai who gets us underway. I will let you guys know when the game's underway. Ref still just doing a couple of checks. We're off. Canada in possession. Didn't do the decent thing and launch it long. Instead, he plays the ball to Mohamed Salah, who plays it inside, looking for Darwin. Ball's headed away for the Forest defence. Drops to McAllister. Chimicus, he's dispossessed. Forest look to counter quickly. Burge gets back, goes back to Alison Becker. And we go again. Bear with me one sec. There we go. Coolio. No TikTok. I mean, for the love of God, give me a break today. Like, no TikTok. No, we, we can't be using any bandwidth with TikTok.
back with the forest keeper passes the ball out press comes on ball into midfield forest go out left hand side and uh, it's behind alanga and it'll go out for a liverpool throw in Soboslai, I will sing for you guys in a moment. Bear with me. Salah, Darwin. Goes on the break, right-hand side. Still Darwin. Tackle comes in on him. When it gets to two minutes, I will sink. For anyone that does need me to sync up. Yes, again, there is a delay. I understand, but you know we, we are doing our best today under very difficult circumstances, so please do bear with us. We're to two minutes now, so I will sing for you guys. It is two minutes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, my friends, it is Dominic Soboslai, right-hand side, ball back. To Canade, Forrest seem to be setting a pattern here of getting people behind the ball and then looking to try and break quickly early doors, which they are now trying to do. Liverpool have won it back, though, with Canade. Virgil van Dijk to Dominic Soboslai. Cuts in field. Canade, Verge. This, these are one of these games where I definitely, definitely, definitely want an early goal. Ibu. To Dominic Soboslai. To Mohamed Salah. Go on, Mo. Little scoopy dink over the top. Haven't haven't said that in a while, Connor. It's been a while since we threw out the old scoopy dinks. Trent. Dom. Back to Trent. Virgil van Dijk. Out left-hand side. Jota. McAllister. And that was me speaking slowly, by the way. That wasn't a uh, lag. That was me just trying to get the words out of my mouth. Cross in for Mo. Darwin. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. It was a lovely ball chipped in towards the six-yard box to Mohamed Salah. Darwin threw his right boot at it. May have got a, a minimal connection to it, but ultimately it goes through to the forest keeper. Uh, Philip Hine, welcome to Anfield Agenda FC, my friend. Appreciate your support. What channel is it on? It's uh, it's it's not on TV in the UK or Ireland. Yeah, I'm aware I'm a minute behind, mate, but when you're having to stream uh, because it's not on TV and you're having to go through a Spanish The Zone account, you know, I can't be crisply up to the second. It isn't humanly possible, my man, so bear with me. Um, Yeah, bear with me. I'm doing my best. Salah, up the line, to Darwin, cross in, oh, ball drops, Gravenberg, no, it's flicked away by Forrest, come on boys, keep up the press, did you see Kane's 50 yard goal, yeah, it was a belter, did you see it Connor? Yeah, I've seen it, it's unreal, ah, fair play to Kane, it was a great goal, McAllister, tried to barge his way through, Eventually, Forrest crowd him out and the ball goes through to the keeper. Uh, I think Divock's injured, from what I'm aware, my friend, is a F logo. I, I feel like Divock's injured, so unfortunately, now we won't be seeing the great man today. Forrest keeper goes long, Verge wins that aerial duel. Second ball drops into midfield. Again, there's Verge. Calmness personified well in, big man. Trent goes up the line. That is a delicious ball to Mohamed Salah. Who's been... Look at that line. Come on. Shin off. <laughs> oh, the great man's been wrestled to the ground. Like, that's, that's jujitsu par excellence there from the Forest player. Look at this, like. 
<laughs> that's not even funny. And they don't give a, it's that's scandalous, lads. How look, Mo's laughing. How is he not getting a foul for that? Oh, lads. Canade. Thanks for letting us know, chat. That's, oh, I think you meant no as in the other f use of the word in the incorrect spelling. Sorry, I was confused. What's with the take one? No, shy. <laughs> I know, like, Salah was just finds it funny. I, I mean, fair play to him. Might be raging. Gravenberg now. Ball back inside to Verge. Verge across to Ibrahima Kanade. Kanade, right hand side. Out to Mo. Mo up the line to Dom. Good ball from Mo. Cross in from, from Dom is blocked. It'll be a corner to Liverpool on this near side. Where is Lucho? His, Google it, my friend. You know, I don't want to keep bringing up the news because it's very... It's it's hurtful news. It's sad news, obviously. So, you know, have a little Google of it. But Lucho isn't available today. The reason will become apparent when you have a little search. Is it on TNT Sports? No, it's not on TV in the UK or Ireland, unfortunately, today, my friend. So... We're having to be creative, but that's where our amazing sponsor, Surfshark, come in. Don't forget, use the code Anfield Agenda at checkout to get yourself three months free and a fantastic sign-up offer as well from our friends at Surfshark. Cross in. Ooh. Oh, it bounced off, uh, I think, Diogo Jota's head and into the forest keeper's arms. I read that Luto's dad was found. That was false information, unfortunately, Hex, um, which has since been retracted. Forest keeper goes long into the left channel. Ball breaks down. Forest in possession. Ball flicked in behind. Space strike. Oh, just wide. Just wide. Oh, that's uh, that's got to be a warning to us. Linesman kept his. Let's have a look. Linesman kept his flag down anyway. I mean, he was offside, so it wouldn't have counted. Yeah, he was definitely offside, so I wouldn't have counted. The offside trap was uh, played well. Canade. Where's Trent? There he is. He's in the bottom of the screen. I was thinking, where's Trent? Salah. Again, nice ball up the line to Dominic Sobosloy. Right-hand side. Dom cuts back on to his... Inside, gives it to Salah. He's dispossessed from behind. Forrest looking to play out now. Canade steps in. Foul. Again, he's probably forced to head not to get himself a yellow. And it will be a Nottingham Forest free kick inside their own half. Breaks through to the forest keeper. Nine and a half, almost 10 minutes on the clock with us here at Anfield. And it's Liverpool nil, Nottingham Forest nil. We're halfway through the game. Can you catch up? Uh, I can't catch up, but what I can do is make you disappear. It's very easy. There you go. Poof. And it's done. Like magic. Hocus pocus. Who do you think will win the Prem? It's, it's a very close one this season. Like I think we're in for a great title race, in all honesty. One that we probably haven't had in uh, in many years. So I'm going to back us, of course. But, you know, us, Arsenal, Spurs, City. Although City are probably going to face a 1,300-point deduction. <laughs> Sobosly. Oh, cuts back into his right foot and then plays the ball to nobody. And it's cleared by Forrest. Ooh, Everton are one nil up. It, it is a bit of Halloween magic. Everton are winning. Do they know? <laughs> are they aware they're winning? Uh, 
Uh, they're playing West Ham, aren't they? Is that the early kickoff? Another free kick here to Forrest. Gravenberg this time with the foul on Mangala. How are we shaping up so far? Uh, exactly as you probably expected this game to go. Liverpool dominating possession, but Forrest with a lot of players back behind the ball. Liverpool so far struggling to break down and Forrest looking to counter. That's pretty much where we're at at the moment. Forrest now in possession, left-hand side. They also made us attack the cop end in the first half. So, you know, there is that. They have, they have to concede an extra goal just for that one. A bit annoying that a game cuts into the Manchester derby. Yeah, it is. I would have loved to have done both. Um, so, unfortunately, yeah, it is It is a bit crappy that we can't, uh, we can't watch both. So, what's the result we want today, then, in the Manchester derby? Go on. I'm going to make you say it. I'm going to make you all feel dirty. Say it. Go on. What's the result you want today in the Manchester derby, my friends? Ben just sent me a bit of a message about his rear end there. Ball in behind. And again, Forest Keeper comes out and saves. Keep the intensity. Anfield is quiet. Oh, yeah, we, we need to keep that going as well. That's going to be part of our um, match match reaction shows now as well. I want your, you guys to let me know what the Anfield atmosphere is like. 4-0 City. Draw. I mean, uh, abandoned, said Connor draw i mean a lot of people thinking united you know, are going to get a draw here well in fair play i mean yeah it, this is one of those rare occasions in life where all, us liverpool fans we don't want to say it out loud but you know there's a certain color in manchester we'd rather come out on top today and uh, they're very similar to our own color if ever, if ever we needed the Feckers to do us a favour, maybe today would, would be one of those days. But um, it's not Old Trafford, right? So I'm going to go... I'm not going to go for a, a very hopeful to all. But not a, yeah, it's probably going to be like 4 or 5 nil City and then somebody's going to have to feign like they're upset. And there we go. Trent, his ball into the left channel was dealt with by the Forest defence, headed out for Liverpool throwing on that far side. Always want United to lose. Can't in this one though, Calvin or Kelvin. Sorry, we can't make today. We've got to, we've got to feel grubby today. If I'm having to feel dirty today, you're having to feel dirty with me, Sarah. Not in the good way. Canade, Alexis. Out left side to Costas. Trent. Did you see last night at the fight, actually, the most strange thing I seen last night was Rio Ferdinand standing with Conor McGregor having a conversation. I think they were sitting beside each other, actually, for the fight last night. That was very strange. And also seeing Ronaldo get booed um, in Saudi <laughs> was weird. Like, even he was like, what? Uh, it's so funny. The lady who was doing comms said, uh, well, that director's getting fired because they just stayed on Ronaldo when he was getting booed. And um, yeah, she was that director's getting fired. Shot there from distance from a callus of the goals behind. We're 15 minutes in at Anfield and it's still Liverpool nil, Nottingham Forest nil. And um, no real signs of a breakthrough so far. Oh, Sam Maximan. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Rio McGregor and Sam Maximan in a row. Now, there's a trio you never thought you'd be saying, right? But um, fair play. Darwin. Gravenberg now. He's crowded out. Forrest clear the lines again. Referee playing an advantage here. Forrest play a ball in behind. Out comes Alison Becker. What a lovely pass. Lovely side for the pass to Dominic Soboslai. His cross in looking for Jada. Jada gets a flick. Keeper comes out and grabs it, though.
Eric Ten Lasso. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, you've made my day. Thank you. Who was that? We, we need to give this person a big thumbs up. <clears throat> Eric Ten Lasso. Oh, my days. That's made my day, mate. Well in. Uh, King Mo. He's hilarious, that one. Eric Ten Lasso. Oh, my days. That's, that's brilliant. Well played. Villa have scored, by the way. Villa 1-0 up in their game. Oh, 10 last, though. They're never going to get all that one. So, yes, uh, Everton 1-0 up away against West Ham. Villa 1-0 up at home against Luton. Scoreless Brighton, Fulham, and, of course, scoreless here. Canade to Trent. Mo. There's too many players in our team with blue boots, by the way. Let me say that. What do you think of the Rolling Stones sponsoring Barca? I thought it looked horrible. Like, obviously nothing against the Rolling Stones. Legendary band. But yeah, I was it didn't suit the kit at all. Um, and I'm gonna blame them for that's why they lost, because the Rolling Stones are on the shirt. Uh or Bellingham was just too good, one or the other. We get no poll today. We're trying to to, to just, you know, stay bare bits today and, and get everything done. So, apparently we can do a poll. Uh, what are we going to do? Give us the Manchester Derby poll, please, if that's okay, Ben. Let's go and see what we think of the Manchester Derby result. Did you see Bellingham's goal yesterday? He scored two, but yeah, the first one. Whoo! He put the laces through that, didn't he? Liverpool on the attack now. Jota looking for Mo again. Forrest have enough bodies back. Come on, stand up. No free foul. No free... And he catches him on the follow through. Stupid! Why do our players do that? Why, Trent? Why? You were never getting to him. All you were going to do was catch him on the follow through, which he's done, and now it's a free kick. It's just stupid from Trent. Right, we have a poll for the Manchester Derby results. Trent is about to go on the referee's book now as well for his very, very silly tackle. So we're going to ask you, is it going to be a Manchester United win, a draw, or a Manchester City win? So that is Trent in the book. Again, if you are new today, please do hit that subscribe button, my friends. We are, uh, well, we were closing right in on 224,000 subscribers. Did you see uh, Kane's goal? Yes, I did. It was with, with the one you're talking about from inside his own half. It was amazing. Fair play to the lad. No, no hay for me. That was just class. So does Kane make them yeah, um, Champions League, real Champions League contenders now? You know, has he done enough for them with that? Like, you'd have to say he probably has, you know, because you always think Bayern will be there or thereabouts. But with Harry Kane firepower, whew. Let's wait and see, but right, Liverpool on the attack, ball into Soboslai, right channel to Mo. Goes behind. Liverpool are looking for something. Referee says nothing doing. Goal kicked to Nottingham Forest. Did I watch the fight last night? Yes, my friend, I did. And it was um I, I don't really care what. But the judges said Francis and Ghana won the fight. Anybody that's ever witnessed a, a boxing event or any fight in their life knows who won that fight. It's uh, that last night was the last draw for me with boxing. I can't. I, how can I stand over that sport anymore? There's no credibility left. Ball in. Cleared. Back with Gravenberg. He pings the ball out right hand side to Costas. Costas chests it down. Side foot across in. Van Dyke tries to get there, can't, but manages to regain the second ball. 
Back to Trent. Strike! Ooh, unlucky. Oh, Trent's just uh, pretty much nearly knocked somebody out with that strike, to be fair. Forest player took that one flush in the face and is on the ground, understandably. I mean, let's have a look. Yep, yeah, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. So, yeah, Trent strike. Forest player puts his head in the way. And uh, I'm sure felt it. So he's going to have to receive a little bit of treatment. Serge Zorier is calling on the medical team. I mean, he's awake and okay, but I'm sure that that one's uh, going to leave a mark. Does Mo end the season with more goals or assists? Um... Don't know. I'm going to say goals. Why not? Let's go goals. Why does Steve Cooper look like a spitting image puppet? That's a good show, to be fair. Um, Steve Cooper's a nice fella and a damn good coach. So I've nothing against Steve Cooper and I'm not trying, but that's a funny comment. <laughs> Boxing officials sound like the Premier League officials at the moment. Maybe that's what's going on there. Maybe, maybe David Coote is still scoring. Uh, right, Forest player Slingar is uh, back to his feet now. And uh, with it's good to see, he did take that flush in the face from a strike from Trent. So he is back up on his feet, which is good to see. And he is going to be walked off the side of the pitch now. Ben says you're a prick. Check Grow out the beard. I wish I could. I wish I could. Honestly, I'm just glad you guys don't have smell of vision at the minute either because I'm sweating like a pig here. Right, we're back on their way. Chimicus, McAllister, Canade. It's all very defense versus attack. I feel like I've watched this game before. Darwin now. He loses possession. Forest clear the lines. Throw into Liverpool right hand side. Let's see what the poll is looking like. So we asked you guys for a Manchester Derby result. So far, 49% with over 1,300 votes. Uh, I think it's going to be a City win. 22% for a United win and the rest on a draw. Trent with a left foot across in, slightly over hit, goes all the way through to Turner, the Nottingham Forest keeper. We still await a real, a real guilt edge chance in this one for Liverpool. 24 minutes in and so far it's um, frustration. Do Movember. I just look like a twat. <laughs> I could that's probably one of these only things I could do is Movember yes I could probably I could grow oh I could grow a tash but not as well as the wife I'm deaf on the sofa deaf on the sofa and deserved like deserved cross in oh good ball in from Dom headed behind by the forest defence for a Liverpool corner Let's see if we can't do something from this one. Fingers crossed. Ball in. Nope. Forest clear again. Trent is forced back to cost this. Liverpool in possession. 25 minutes on the clock. Brighton win nil up, 1 0 up, excuse me, in that game as well. Thank you for the update, guys, against Fulham. Good week for Brighton, obviously. They beat Ajax 2 0. Double fly now. Ebu, back to Ali. Oh, it was Evan Ferguson that scored as well. Nice one. Ebu to Trent. Back to Ebu. 
I'm watching the glorious man Craig on my TV and my phone at the same time. Double the Craig. Double the views. We love that, mate. Well in. Get another device, you lazy git. Three. We want three. We want a hat trick. We want more. We want more. Canade. To Mo. To Dom. It's all very predictable. It's all very slow paced. Raffenberg to Alexis. Oh, go on. Oh, unlucky. Lucky. Almost slipped that through to Ryan Grafenberg. Almost. I feel like we're I feel like we're problem solving. Is that the right phrase? Uh, we definitely made the best of um, this one, didn't we? Hundred percent, yeah. That was a you've you've calmed me down a bit with that one. As I said, though, you're all lucky. There's no smell of vision. You should be able to smell at all times, Ben. If you can't smell, get medical attention. I have to admit to a scratch and sniff last night as well on the sofa. I found myself pulling myself up on a cone. You just did that, Holden. You just did that. Ball in. Cleared by Forest Defence. McAllister has a back. Gravenberg. The Jota, Jota falls. Another attack breaks down. Verge is back there to calmly head it to Ibrahim Akanade. Who are our subs today? No problem. It's Adrian, Kelleher, Gomez, Endo, Gakpo, Elliot, Matip, Chambers, McConnell. That's your Liverpool bench today. Alison, so what's the atmosphere like? The game's very boring. No chances for me this side. Crowd is quiet enough. By the way, I'm eating a humble pie over Gravenberg. Don't worry, Craig, you ain't alone. Shane, there's definitely enough of that humble pie to go around, buddy, for all of us. Mo, he tries to go up the line. Again, though, we have a throw in. Salah in possession now. Canade. Mo. Oh, he goes up line to Darwin. The defender slips. Darwin! Oh, lucky. Strike of the near post, saved by Turner. Probably the closest we've come so far. Uh, Mo played a hopeful ball up the line. The Nottingham Forest defender slipped. And Darwin then was in a very tight angle, to be fair. But he gets it on target, and Turner gets a strong right hand to put it behind for a corner. Close, though. Atmosphere is not great, said Evan. Right, let's take you through uh, the Manchester Derby lineups in a moment. We'll get them for you guys and tell you who's who's starting in that one. Obviously, it's an hour till kickoff. Uh, lots of people saying the atmosphere is flat as well. Darwin's header there, about five yards over the bar, unfortunately. Right, I've got the teams three and out. Start with Manchester United. It's a, oh, no, no, what's my name? In goal, then Lindelof, Amrabat, Maguire, Bruno, Rashford, Hoyland, Eriksen, Dalla, Evans, and McTominay. So if I'm reading that right, Johnny Evans and Harry Maguire are playing against Manchester City. <laughs> Ten lassos uh, doing bits. And then it's Ederson, Walker, Stones, Diaz, Gvardiol, Rodrigo, Bernardo, Foden, Grealish, Alvarez, and Haaland. Yeah, those two teams seem very well matched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, we need a goal here now, and then life really does uh, get into gear. Forrest in possession inside our half. He's dispossessed by Alexis. Alexis, the Red Arrows now are in attack. Salah. Salah into Darwizzi. Darwizzi! Save Jota! Goal! 
Diogo, the assassin, is on target. It is a Darwin Nunes strike that is parried out by Mark Turner. And there he is, Diogo Jota, the assassin in the penalty area to slot it home. Holds up his shirt in tribute to Luis Diaz. Beautiful, beautiful Diogo. Beautiful touch, fella. And of course, all our thoughts and love are with, uh, with Lucho and his family at the moment. But yes, we have the breakthrough at Anfield. It is Diogo Jota with the goal. It was a, a good bit of play from Liverpool. It was won by Alexis McAllister inside her own half. He fed the ball into the right channel to Mohamed Salah. Slips it to Darwin. Darwin has a strike. Matt Turner parries it. And then Diogo Jota is there, as you would expect all good forwards to be, waiting for any any little scraps. And the ball fell to him, and he won't get many easier than that one from six or seven yards out. Diogo Jota, better than Figo, don't you know, makes it 1-0 to Liverpool. Diogo Jota, go on, son. And, of course, then a beautiful moment as he holds up a shirt for Lucho. And I think, you know, all our, as I said, all of our, our love and our thoughts are with the Diaz family. Beautiful mark of respect that from Diogo. There we go. The breakthrough has happened. Now the game should open up and get a little bit more interesting as Forest have to be a bit more adventurous. Diogo Jota has been taken out here. It'll be a yellow card to uh, Nottingham Forest. Mangala, it is who goes to the referee's book. Oof. Oof. Oof, that was a proper collision, wasn't it? But uh, referee produces the yellow for Mangala. Right, my friends, if you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. We'd, uh, we'd love to get towards 200 and whatever the hell we're at now. I'm actually checking in just to check. We're only 50 away from 224,000 subscribers. So if you can hit that button, we'd love to start the march towards 225. And then fingers crossed, let's, uh, let's get to um, 250. This channel is not live. Well, I can assure you I am, sir. I can assure you I am. I am real. I am here and I am live. Live? Kanade heads the ball back to Allison. 34 minutes on the clock at Anfield. Liverpool won Nottingham Forest nil. Did you see Jota holding the Dia shirt in celebration? Of course, yeah. It was um, it was a lovely tribute. But look, our, our, of course. Oh, hang on, hold the phone. Brian has just arrived. Uncle Brian with 50, 50 Anfield agenda memberships. Now I am not reading out those fifty members' names, but thank you so much to Brian and congratulations to everybody who's just received a membership from Brian. Wow. Legend, Brian. Thank you so much, my man. Jota. To Dom. To Mohammed. Salah now, right side of the penalty area. Slips the ball down to Soboslai. Darwin. Golazzo. 2-0. Whoop, whoop. Darwizzi. 2-0 to Liverpool. It is great work down the right-hand side. Mohamed Salah flicks the ball to Dominic Soboslai. He plays the ball right across the front of goal. There's Darwin to knock it into the roof of the goal. And it is Liverpool who now have a comfortable two goals to nil lead. And uh, Darwin Nunes continues his fine form this season. Uh, he's blown a kiss to me there as well. Do you see that? Well done, Darwin. So it starts out with Diogo Jota picking up the ball left-hand side. He then switches the play up to Sobosly. Sobosly breaks forward, sees Mohamed Salah wide right, gives it to him, continues his run. Salah rolls the ball down to him. Dom pulls it back, and there's Darwin to tap it into the goal. Darwin Nunes makes it Liverpool 2, Nottingham Forest 0. Your boys are taking a hell of a beating, our Forest supporting friend. Your boys are taking a hell of a beating, Sabrina.
Two nil. Look, how much do we love? How much do we love Mr. Darwin Nunes? Let's be honest. We all have a little bit of man love for Darwin, don't we? So, 36 minutes in and it's uh, it's looking a little bit more comfortable at the moment for the Reds. Liverpool 2 Nottingham Forest nil. Mohamed uh, Salah with the uh, ball down the line to... Dominic Sobosloy pulls it back across and Darwin was there to steer it into the roof of the goal. First goal from Diogo Jota. Uh, how are you? Hope you're all right. I'm good, thank you, Cozy Goat. I'm good. We've um, we've lots of stuff happening, but we're good at the minute. Love from Sweden. Arve, how are we? Or Ave, excuse me. How's Sabrina feeling? Um, probably knew this was coming, to be fair. She knows what she's in for later on. Um, um, well, chance of being a fine thing, but no, she's getting uh, bantered to death for me today. Don't worry. I can't rule out a teabagging incident. Dom's having a little game of hopscotch out there. Someone stood in his foot. Murillo, I think it was. Maz plays, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Come on, Connor, sing right now. Oh, Happy birthday. Fair play to you. Well done for being born. Free kick, Trent with the delivery, headed away by Forrest, drops the Costas. How am I today? Karen, I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Relieved is probably the better word, actually. Didn't think we'd be able to stream today, but thankfully, where there's a will, there's a way. Uh, I can't believe that that's actually Dominic Soboslai's first assist for Liverpool. How crazy is that? First of many, I would imagine, though. Trent to McAllister. Out the right hand side to Mo. Can you say high is fair? I think I just did. Gravenberg, ooh, Pams by the keeper. Stingy Pams. Gravenberg with a strike from distance to Turner parries back out. Sobus line out, another one parried out. It's shooting practice here. Another cross in, headed behind this time. The Reds are in full flow now, my friends. And Turner is forced into a couple of quick fire saves there. It'll be another Liverpool corner. Two strikes to the edge of the box. Well saved by Turner. Right corner. It'll be an outswinger from Costas. Gives the signal. Ball in. Headed away by the Forest defence. I think it was Serge Aurier with the clearance. Headed back out by Ryan Gravenberg to Alexis McAllister. Another cross in. Hooked away by the Forest defender. Kept in on that far side by Costas. Darwin, he goes to ground, referee says nothing doing, then Darwin fouls the Forest player, it'll be nothing for Forest free kick, five minutes plus stop, it's time to go. I'm watching the match, Rory, on a, a Spanish The Zone account that we have, bud. We're 11 subscribers now away from 224, so please do hit that subscribe button. There's over, there's 4,750 people watching now. If you haven't subscribed, please do. 
Again, we appreciate you being with us today. Jota, McAllister, ball chipped to the far post. Darwin, bicycle kick. Oh, unlucky. Just couldn't uh, couldn't get the ball to dip enough, and it goes over Turner's crossbar for a Forest goal kick. Yes, there was fifty gifted subs. I know absolute generosity par excellence from uh, Brian earlier on. And to everyone that did get gifted a membership, welcome. Right. 224,000 subscribers. Absolute legends, my friends. You know what I'm going to say next, though, right? 225 is nicer, isn't it? 225 sounds a lot better. But well done. 224. We're growing. We're getting there bit by bit, day by day, stream by stream. Our little, our little dysfunctional family is getting better. Forest on the attack now. Ball goes off Canada. It'll be a Nottingham Forest corner. Well done, Ibu. Good defending. How's Gravenberg playing? He's playing very well, um, as has been the case since he's joined the Reds. How do I feel about South Africa winning? Um, the fair play. I mean, whoever won that was a deserving winner. So fair play to South Africa. <clears throat> Right, corner on the far side for Forrest. Ball in, headed away by Virgil van Dijk. Dominic Sobosly finishes the clearance. Darwizzi and Chase. Go on, Darwin. Captain Chaos. Oh, and Lucky. I love him so much. So much. He's just so cool. I just love the lad. I just love him. He's just... He's everything I love in a football player. Like, just hard work intensity madness smile just, just love the lad he's, he's just so good what did south africa win the uh the rugby world cup my friend free kick from forest diagonal long strike it's uh it's headed for the corner flag that shot allison goes out gets it brings it back into his penalty area and rolls it out to Mr. Ryan Gravenberg. We're the best team in the world. I'll take it, Joshua. We are. We are. Why not? We're in the Europa, but why not? Ibu. Mo, back to Canada. Liverpool are going to bottle the league. Yeah, bottle these nuts. How about that? Bottle these nuts. Oh, you need a very big bottle. You play us at home in November. I know, half past 12 after the international break, my friend. Do I like politics? God, no. Who likes politics? Four minutes added on by the referee. Sobosly tries a little reverse ball to Darwizzi, but Forrest have enough bodies back and look to play their way out, but it only goes as far as Diogo. Still Diogo slips the ball in looking for Gravenberg. Forrest crowd him out and look to play their way out now. They move it into the left channel. Are we going to, for a cup run or not? I don't know. We'll find out midweek, won't we? 
we've got uh, Bournemouth on Wednesday in the League Cup, so we'll wait and see what happens there. We've had one minute of the four, still Forest in possession, centre circle. They play it out into the right channel. Costas goes across. Liverpool have had 11 shots, seven on target. Forest two with zero on target. They try a ball to the far post. It's over hit. Goes behind. It'll be a Liverpool goal kick. Can I buy that shirt off you? No, you did. No, not without it being washed, mate. But after that, absolutely ten grand, and you're paying for the postage. Seven on target, yes. Eleven, seven on target. I know. Craig, I ordered prime rib last night with dinner and they had the audacity to put broccoli on the plate. And how did they react when you smashed the plate over the waiter's head? Like, were they all right about it, considering it was their mistake in the first place? Prime rib and they want to be taking up valuable chip space or mashed potato space with broccoli. I think you're perfectly within your rights to, to do what you did, mate. We're, we're supportive of you. prime rib and they're giving you broccoli with it i mean geez, why don't you just pour a glass of water all over your dinner free kick to liverpool here in a very uh trendable position if that's a phrase broccoli is unreal yeah, because if I put in front of you a pulled pork sandwich or a plate of broccoli, we'll see what's unreal then. See which one of them you're going for. Right. Three minutes of the four minutes stoppage time played. Still a free kick to Liverpool here in a very shootable position. Have I had Prime before? The drinky Prime? I haven't, no, but my daughter my son have tried it. I don't drink any of those type of drinks. The lads are still... Um, I mean, Jesus Christ, the lads are going to get a protractor out in a minute with the looks of this. Trend strike off the top of the wall. And goes behind for a Liverpool corner. Trent a little bit unhappy. Didn't do better with that. Thank you, Smoke Slays. Appreciate you, mate. Ball in. Flicked by Jota. Forrest put the ball out for a throw in. Referee blows his whistle. It's half time at Anfield. And it is Liverpool who lead Nottingham Forest by two goals to nil. Appreciate you all for being with us so far. Give us your thoughts on the game. And don't forget, of course, we do have a poll open for the Manchester Derby. Who is going to win? Will it be a United win, a draw, or a Manchester City win? <coughs> yeah, that's happy. I mean, if you said to me 20 minutes into that game we'd be 2 up at halftime, I wouldn't have thought you were right, but I will absolutely take it. And again, my friends, don't forget, if you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. It's great to have you all with us. I really do appreciate your support today, even after the few technical hiccups we had. The boys put their capes on, underwear, outside their trousers, as all supermen do, and sorted it out. So, as we are at halftime, just going to give you guys a little word from our sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is an app or browser extension which allows you to change your location to access websites in other countries and keep you safe and secure from hackers. Surfshark lets you virtually travel the world with one tap of a finger. For example, using Surfshark, we here in Ireland can access other countries' Netflix libraries, streaming services such as the BBC iPlayer, DAZN in Spain, of course, like today, for those all-important Premier League games. Surfshark keeps you safe and private by protecting everything you do online. When your device connects to the internet, all that information is, in a way, blurred out. 
Surfshark is particularly useful for keeping you safe from being hacked if you use public Wi-Fi, if you're at college, if you're at a cafe and stuff like that. Surfshark allows you to use one subscription on unlimited devices so you can even share your account with your friends and family and unlike Netflix, they actually encourage it. On top of this, Surfshark offers a magnificent 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can always get your money back. You can also upgrade to Surfshark 1, which includes a VPN, an alert system for breaches related to your data, such as emails and credit cards and antivirus software for your desktop. Our sign-up offer gives you Surfshark VPN for just over €2 Euro per month and an additional three months free. Simply scan the QR code on the screen or use the link in the description and put in the code Anfield Agenda, all one word, at checkout. Right. You have Aurier playing both wing backs for the Forest starting 11. That's how much we rate him, mate. You know, you might not rate him as much as we do, and we will never admit to a mistake. So that, again, is because of how highly we rate Serge Aurier. These days, I don't miss... Uh, Jude, is it? Sorry, one second. These days, I don't miss Jude much. Dom is amazing. He is amazing, Indian Scouser, and we are very lucky to have him. But also, I wouldn't say no to a bit of Jude. Did I watch Fury in Ganu? Yeah, I did. I, I watched the robbery take place, yes. So uh, there's a report coming from Anything Liverpool who said 200 million pesos of reward have been offered to somebody or anybody who gives information that allows for the rescue of Luis Diaz's father. Um, so I think that's about 10 million euro, give or take, which is um, obviously a huge amount of money, but it's the man's father, so I completely understand it. Um, and we do, of course, hope for the best possible outcome for the Diaz family. Got the lineups wrong. I'm going to say this lovingly. Today of all days, honestly, I don't care, mate. I don't care if the lineups are wrong. Today we've had so much work to make sure that we can... Um... Sorry. Uh, no, apparently it's about 50 grand. My apologies. It's about 50 grand. Uh, the reward but either way a significant reward offered for uh, information leading to the rescue of Lucho Diaz's father um, so yeah it's about 50 grand my apologies on that one great first half from Liverpool let's continue in the second half up the red to Craig Flynn it's like world class at night journey uh, you're more than 10 minutes behind again Dennis I don't know what to say, but I could absolutely rinse you here, bud, and just pull you apart bit by bit. But I'm trying to be nice. If you don't, aren't happy with it, mate, I can't do anything about it. Today of all days, we're doing our best to keep you up to date with what's happening, working in very difficult circumstances, and I think doing a pretty good job of it. So if you want to watch it elsewhere, my friend, I understand today, but there's nothing that we can do. We're trying our very best. Maybe I'm grown up a little bit, Dennis. What are you saying? Maybe I'm maturing a little bit here. Not like Mr. Ten Lasso. Ben just said y'all a bunch of... I'm paraphrasing somewhat there. He said the lineup's actually correct, but, you know, I can read between the lines. You've already playing both wing backs in the forest starting eleven. Yeah, because he's brilliant. Amazing. That's how good he is. So who's dressing up for what? Or as what? I think I'm gonna dress up as Mark Goldbridge for Halloween. Don't even know where I can get a Forest jersey. From my wife, Sabrina. 
She's uh, she'd be looking for one. She wants one with no no brand logo on the front. Uh, well, she should have bought it, by the way. So, like serious talk for a sec. I don't know why she waited till Forrest got a sponsor. She should have got the one without the sponsor on it when they had no sponsor because it looks so much better. Um, Top Cat, that information was incorrect, mate. Incorrect. Incorrect. Yeah, I'm making up new words here. Not only are we making up position for Aurier doubling up. Craig's making up. This is the new overneath. I think I'm honestly kind of. I think I'm. I'm. There's something wrong with my brain at this point. I can't even string together sentences anymore. Brain or damage? Is it? Yeah. I done damage the old noggin. The U-turn Craig has done on Mark's hilarious. Not as hilarious as uh, the pathetic attempts at him. That he still, by the way, let me just say this real quickly. He still has a chance to apologize, you know, until business tomorrow. Goldbridge has a chance to retract his nonsense and apologize to those people he needs to apologize to. Um, but as we said the other day, barring that, the gloves are off and we will use um, every legal means at our disposal to make sure that his silliness is shown up for what it is. Silliness. But... That's all I'm going to say on that matter. Um, my duty of care is to my team and my guys, and that's where my focus is, especially when they're performing so masterfully well today, um, pulling rabbits out of hats to allow us to do this stream. Or Pepsi. How dare you, sir? How dare you with your Pepsi? I'm st It still hurts me to this day that my son drinks Pepsi Max. You know, when I see the bottle in the kitchen, I just, a little part of me dies inside. I can't say what he's done for those asking you in the chat because it's not my place to say so because it doesn't directly involve me. But um, all will become apparent in good time. Just bear with us again. That's all I can say. And I'm not going to be drawn in to say any more on it because I have to show respect to my team and the people who have to do things in the right way. And that's what we'll do. We'll do them in the right way. We'll do things the correct way. and. Um, we will show him that playing games will not work with us. Right, let's take you through the Manchester uh, starting 11s for the game in the Manchester Derby. We'll start with the home side, Manchester United. Onana in goal, then Lindelof, Amrabat, Maguire, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, Hoyland, Eriksen, Dalot, Evans and McTominay. For Manchester City, it's Ederson, Walker, Stones, Diaz, Josco Vardiol, Rodrigo, uh, or as in Rodri, Bernardo, Foden, Grealish, Alvarez, and Haaland. Matthew Perry has actually passed. I know, I know. Seriously, um, seriously bad news last night on the, on the passing of Matthew Perry. He was found uh, unresponsive in there at his home, unfortunately. That was confirmed by I think it was Warner Brothers that confirmed it. Um, look, again, just too young to have passed. And our thoughts are, of course, with uh, Matthew Perry's family, his castmates, and everyone that's worked with him. He's um, He played a big part in my life growing up, definitely watching Friends. You know, I was a religious viewer of Friends. And even my daughter now has re-watched and watched Friends. Yeah, and she's the next generation. Like, it's very sad indeed. Uh, Bobby Tams, welcome to Anfield Agenda FC, my friend. Sorry if I'm like a month late. What happened to City after all them charges? It's still ongoing, buddy. It's still ongoing. But, you know, we're working off the old Everton calculus, uh, 12 points for one charge. You can only imagine that they'll have to get a, an old abacus out to work out Manchester City's points deduction. I heard they're going to be playing League of Ireland, Connor. Oh, yeah. Is there anything from Romano? Did you just check for Bitsio for me? See if he's tweeted that. Reward. 
Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Um, hey, Craig, can you help? Because I'm always being bullied at school and I want to know what I should do. Please help me. Tough time. You're the perfect. So firstly, alert your teacher, alert your principal, go through all the correct channels, tell your parents what's happening. Nobody should be putting you in that position, my friend. I'm certainly not qualified to give you advice on a situation that I don't know the ins and outs of, but there will be procedures and places uh, in place at your school for these type of things. So I would definitely say don't suffer in silence. Do speak up. Do let somebody know what's happening, somebody that you trust. And I promise you they will um, they will help you through that, mate, and they will make sure that you are looked after and that it stops, most importantly. Fabrizio post about Diaz. We spoke about that earlier on. It's the reward thing that's been offered um, for was 100 million pesos for um, the safe return or the information leading to the safe return of Luis Diaz's father. Minus 1,380 points for City as an Everton calculus at Thomas Malloy. Darwin's world class, good. I'm on, I'm on board with that. Stand up, voice up, says Quest. Don't be scared, said Mason. Exactly. Always speak up, my friend. Speak up. Because what you normally find in life is people who are bullies, um, they usually are projecting their own insecurities and their own hurt on others. Maybe they're suffering in life. Maybe they've had a bad upbringing. It doesn't excuse what they've done to you, of course. But I would certainly say always speak up, buddy. There will be procedures in place at your school. And a problem shared is definitely a problem halved. So go through the right channels, but do, do what needs to be done. Speak up because you don't, you don't deserve to suffer like that, my friend. Right, we aren't too far away from the second half getting on the way at Anfield. Uh, and again, we do have a poll up asking you guys for your thoughts on the Manchester Derby. It's uh, pretty one-sided so far. We've had, oh my days, we've nearly 5,000 votes. It's a Manchester United win with 21%. It's a draw, 25%. And a Manchester City, Abu Dhabi, 115 points. Nothing to see here. Creative Accountancy FC, 54%. Have you ever experienced bullying? Yes, absolutely. Um, I spoke about a situation where I was about, I want to say it was about 14 or 15. And uh, one day I was coming home from the, the I don't know, it was a tennis club or I was playing football with my mates, but I was pinned up against the wall by a group of lads. And I managed to wriggle free and get away. But I didn't go outside for days afterwards. And then eventually my dad said to me, what's wrong with you? I told him. He put me in the car. He drove me over to them where they were hanging out. And he said, I believe you have a problem with my son. If any one of you wants to go over to the field with my son, then away you go. Uh, most of them said nothing. One of them spoke up and we went over. I knocked seven shades of shit out of them. We came back and to this day, we were uh, we were on good terms since that. But I won't say I wasn't scared. I was petrified. But for me, my dad was an old school type of person and that's how he... Dealt with these things, so, but it was dealt with, I will say that, and to that, from that day to this very day, that respect between the, us is still there, so, um, but yeah, look, I, I don't know anyone that hasn't suffered some form of bullying, it's, it's, it's debilitating, it's not great, it, it's something you wouldn't wish on anybody. Uh, thank you. I don't know where it be without you. Said your daily sub a sly lover. Did you watch the boxing? Fury should have lost. I did, and you're right. Francis and Ghana won that fight. Craig versus Fury incoming. I wouldn't, you know, even if I beat him on points, or they just robbed me. 
Right, we're about to get underway with the second half. Here we go. Forrest kick us off. And we go out right-hand side. Costas wins the header. And McAllister knocks it forward. 2-0 Villa now in that game. 2-0 Villa. I will give you guys a sync when we get to 46 minutes just to make sure that we're all tickety-boo. <coughs> Right, Chris Cavan is your referee today, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that earlier on. Salah now, wide right. He's dispossessed. It'll be a Liverpool throw-in on the far side. Again, get ready for a sink. I'm going to be doing it in about 10 seconds. Right, so here we go. It is... 46 minutes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Trent Yellow was ridiculous. I felt the challenge. Barry from Trent was a bit ridiculous, if I'm being honest with you, mate. It was a stupid challenge. Oh, Everton have won, have they? They've seen that result out. Allison now. Out left-hand side to Costas. Antonio just needs to stop talking before he plays against the team from Liverpool, doesn't he? He just really needs to just keep it, keep it zipped. Salah. Back to Ibu. What do you think of Andre Trinidad? I think it'll be a very good signing, and I think it will happen. Jota heads the ball down. It's cleared, and it comes to the forest keeper. Excuse me, I should have said. It's gone through to the forest keeper. Aurier. Verge back now to Allison. It's going to be weird to see a Liverpool approach this second half. Obviously, a two-goal lead is uh, what they call the most dangerous lead in football, but their next goal in this game will be very important. If Liverpool get it, we can take the foot off the gas or we can go for the throat, but if Forrest get it, might be a bit nervy. Salah, strike! Oh, lucky. Tries to pick out the far corner, just doesn't get the bend on it that he would like, and it goes behind for a Forrest goal kick. Barry said hardly any con. He just should have made the challenge, Barry. It was just a stupid challenge and an unnecessary challenge. I don't know why he did it. You know, he, he was already going to clear the ball. He was never going to get the block on the ball. It was just silly. Ajax bottom of the year to visa. I mean, I might have to go over there and save them. It might have to be me and me and Mr. Crosby go over and take over Ajax. They've already had a couple of ball frauds there. Why not one more? Wow. That's mental. How did it get that bad? Sangar now. Out left-hand side. Forrest on the attack. Saba slide back to the defendant. Gives it to Ali. Ali rolls it out to Ibu. Well done, Ibu. Back out to Dom. Dom up the line to Alexis. Or excuse me, to Trent. My apologies. Ali. To Verge. That is crazy, though. Know? Like, even if they have games in hand, for Ajax to be bottom of the air divisa, that's mental. 25 points off that. Holy God. So who is winning then, PS3? Yeah. Leon or bottom in league. Oh, that's... There's some really strange footballing stories, isn't there? Darwin flicks it back to Dom. McAllister does well. Step well done, Alexis. Flicks it out to Salah. 
Liverpool dispossessed now. Forest clear their lines. But it'll be coming straight back at them because Alisson regains possession, gives it to Virgil van Dijk. Free kick. Referee judges uh, a foul on the Forest player, Gibbs White. Free kick to Forest just inside their own half. Can I get your opinion on Saka? I think he's a fine player. Bobby, you know, a very, very, very talented young player. I like both Arsenal's wingers. You know, I like my, um, Martinelli on the opposite side as well. I think they're both very, very good, very lively and can cause any team a lot of problems. Graham Potter would be a decent managerial choice. That'd be a tasty, yes. That'd be a great show. Potter would do a very good job there. And I could be his director of football. Trent uh, was basically just making a show for us there. And he was dragged back. Free kick to Liverpool and a yellow card for Dominguez. Right, let's see if we can work something from this free kick. Again, do hit that subscribe button, my friends, if you're new to the channel. Uh, we would be almost all Champions League teams. Hit your daily sub, lover. I would, I would not disagree with you. But we are where we are. And uh, hopefully we can win the Europa League and get ourselves back up into the Champions League next season. McAllister. Ebe, ooh. Ball's brought back, though, for a free kick. Referee said no advantage was a crew, and he brings it back for a free kick to Liverpool. McAllister is down holding his right ankle at the minute. Um, is it surreal to have this many subscribers to this channel? Oh, God, yes, Wes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Connor, do you still find it surreal? Yeah, very Yeah, we're not used to it. Like, I know we've, we've been growing steadily over a while, but... Yeah, no, it never ceases to not be scary when you look at the subscriber count and you think, you know, this small little channel that we started together is growing and growing. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely, 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 definitely surreal. Uh, elephant in the room said Jay Muse, I want to see McAllister tighten up his game. I know he's been played out of position. Yeah, he is. You're right. And I'm interested to see what the long term solution is whether, you know, we do bring in Andre and he's the answer or, ooh, Salah nearly, uh, that'll go down as a shot on target for Mo, won't it? It was basically played off him by the Forest player and uh, ricocheted off Mo, but into the arms of Turner. Jot is dispossessed in the penalty area. Ball ricochets back to Mohamed Salah, though. He's waiting for support. He waits too long and has his pocket picked. Forrest bring it away now. And that attack breaks down for Forrest. There'll be a Liverpool throw-in. 54 minutes on the clock at Anfield. Liverpool lead by two goals to nil. Uh, Cody Gakbo and Harvey Elliott are stripped off for Liverpool. You said you missed my super chat. I didn't. I read out your super chat. You said we'd beat all Champions League teams. I went on to say yes, we would, and then said that unfortunately for us, we're in the Europa League. So I didn't. Forrest now. Wide right. Ball pulled back in. McAllis was there to mop it up.
Uh, Matthias, I absolutely did not miss the super chat, mate. I read the super chat. McAllister, well done. Wins it back. Canade, back to Alexis McAllister. Mohamed Salah now. 55 minutes on the clock. Soboslai. To Trent. Am I family friendly? I'm going to say no. Um, I will be swearing. So if that's what you mean, then I will be swearing at points when I get worked up. I can't promise you I won't. I can try, but I can't promise you I won't. Would I ever go hunting? I've been twice in my life. I can't say it's something that ever really did it for me, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, is it fun though hunting animals? It's far easier hunting humans. That bear didn't know what hit him when it was when it was a, a stray fist fight between me and the bear. How's your week been? Uh it's been okay, thank you. A little bit stressful, but uh that's life. You know, we move it, we roll with the punches. Can you do a watch along in a flat cap? Uh, I, I, I could say that that won't be happening. Yeah, that won't be happening. Thankfully, I don't own one. I presume Connor owns one. I presume he gets that with his Chris and as a culture. Oh, yeah. You got a flat cap. Yeah. Right. McAllister gets a yellow card from the referee as well here for a foul on the Forest player. Do you think we should have sold Salah? God, no. Look, as long as the club want to keep Mo, I'm on board with keeping Mo. You know, I don't want to see him leave for free, but I'd love an extension. Right, so here come the changes for Liverpool's Ryan Gravenberg and Diogo Jota. Uh, another goal for Diogo today. Well played, sir. Ryan Gravenberg and Diogo Jota being replaced by Cody Gakpo and Harvey Elliott. 3 0 Villa now in that game. 3 0 to Aston Villa. Speaking of bears, Cocaine Bear was filmed in Wicklow. Was it? <laughs> there you go. I keep seeing that film coming up on Sky, like when I'm scrolling through and I'm like, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not doing it. I'm not clicking on it. I mean, I, I, I don't even want to ask Connor really. Cocaine bear. I mean, the, the fact that someone signed off on that. Oh, yeah, a few million to make it. Yeah, oh, God, yeah, yeah. No, that sounds like a great, great movie altogether. Sobosly. Elliot. Strike. Oh, deflection, but it takes it wider than near post. And it'll go behind for Liverpool corner. Very close there from Harvey Elliott. I mean, I thought I heard it all with snakes on a plane, like, but cocaine bear. Ice cube sun, is it? Of course, ice. Water. Does my camera keep zooming in and out? I don't know. It's Ben changing things to do different shots. Oh, it's Ben doing it on purpose, apparently. Elliot. Do you want me to pick my nose at a certain time, Ben? Or remember Lucas when we were on holidays, got a bit of a nosebleed in the back of the car. 
and we had to stop all for a second. And he goes, I don't know why it's happening. I said, look, son, you're either picking it too much or not enough. You need to get that mix just right. And stop the cocaine. <laughs> stop it now, bold bear. Stop it. <laughs> no more cocaine for you, bear. Right, we're at the hour mark at Anfield. It is Liverpool 2, Nottingham Forest nil. Fury Ngannou thoughts that Mr. Francis Ngannou was robbed and I'm done with boxing after that farce. Canade, how many times do we have to see boxing judges corrupt the sport and we're all supposed to just sit there and think, oh yeah, what we've seen with our eyes, what we actually seen happen, you're trying to tell us we just don't understand? Nonsense. Ngannou won the fight. I know that. I've watched boxing my entire life. You know that. Everybody knows that. Right, so Manchester United's forwards this season. Let's just have a little look at some of their stats. Uh, Anthony, zero goals, zero assists. Garnacho, zero goals, zero assists. Hoyland, zero goals, zero assists. Martial, zero goals, zero assists. Sancho, zero goals, zero assists. And Marcus Rashford flying high with one goal and one assist. Earning that 350 grand a week there, Rashford. Carrying the rest of the team with that one goal and assist. I thought Fury had it. How? How? Honestly, how? How? I had it 96-93 in Ghanu. And so did most people who watched the fight. He won none of the first four rounds. Ngannou won the 10th round. So even if we say Ngannou's won five rounds with the 10-8, it's just nonsense. Not from you. Sorry, dude. Not from you. I mean, just the whole judging thing was nonsense. You could almost see the look of embarrassment from everybody in the ring afterwards. Frank Warren didn't know what to say. The gentleman from Saudi, Turkey, Al Sheikh, I think the dude's name was, he looked like didn't really uh, know what way to go with it next. They just didn't want that big fight against Usyk to be out the window. But look, it, yeah, look, it, it is what it is. And Ghana won. You've seen that clip of Fury on like, FL TV praising the Saudi Arabian government now. I've seen lots of those type of clips, yeah. Basically said they're great because they've gone through customs quicker and England never did. Oh yeah, England what have England ever done for me? Nothing. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that clip. Him and his brother Shane were on that clip. The most impressive thing about that clip was Fury was holding the microphone in his belly button. <laughs> Strike from Salah from distance from a free kick over the bar, and it's uh it's a goal kick to Forest. I had it 96-93 for Fury. I don't even see how that's possible to have happened by your scorecard, Ian. Look, if you're a Fury fanboy and you're just trying to find a way, I get it. But let's be honest. Like, I know we all have our, our favourite boxers and our favourite sports people, but if we want credibility in these conversations, we've got to be honest about it. Fury did nothing. Should have had a point deduction for an elbow. Did nothing. And Ghanu knocked him down. That's a 10 8. Won at least five rounds, probably six. I don't get it. And I know what I've seen, by the way. I'm, I'm, nobody's going to try and pawn me off. I don't know what I was looking at. I do. Trent McAllister. 25 minutes to go at Anfield. So far, it is still Liverpool 2. Um, Forest nil. Uh, Bobby said, "Where has Harvey been, Craig? I miss that cute dog. He's um he's in the kitchen at the moment, Bobby. And thank you for your super chat, mate. He's in the kitchen at the minute. Um, going out for his walk in a while, I would imagine. Costas, 
to Gakpo. Salah back to Cody. Headed away by Forrest. Only as far as Costas Schumacher's though. Left hand side. Costas. Cross takes a deflection uh, off, I think, Aurier. And it goes behind for Liverpool corner. Right, let's see if Costas can put in a good delivery here. Ball in. Cleared away by Forrest. Drops to Elliot. His strike is over the bar and it'll go behind harmlessly for Nottingham Forest goal kick. Right, we are a couple of moments away from the Manchester Derby getting underway, so we'll keep you guys up with the latest and that as well. Really quickly, I can take you through both the Manchester side starting 11s. For United, Onana, Lindelof, Amrabat, Maguire, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, Hoyland, Eriksen, Dalla, Evans, and McTominay. For City, it's Ederson, Walker, Stones, Diaz, Gvardiol, Rodri, Bernardo, Foden, Grealish, Alvarez, and Haaland. How am I watching the game? I have a Spanish The Zone account, mate, that we use for um, we use for games that aren't on TV in the UK. Right, this will be the last game as well of Curtis Jones' suspension, so it will be uh, it'll be good to have him back. Elliot, Trent, Alexis, Van Dijk out left side to Costas. Darwin, back to Verge. And this is his last game, Adam. Adam for um for Curtis being suspended. This is the last of his three games. Uh, what times the derby? Half past three. No, it's not half four. You would imagine it was half four. Um, uh, but no, it's half past three today for some reason. I heard somebody mention it because they're both in Champions League action, but they're not. So that's not true. You, neither of them are playing, I think. Well, United aren't playing till Wednesday anyway. Oh, unlucky. Salah plays the ball through looking for Trent. Turner comes out and smothers it, though. I, I, yeah, I don't have a definitive answer, Connor. Uh, two years to the day since almost since we beat United 5 0. Yeah, that was back in the days where we only beat them five, though. So now we're, we're, a, we're a seven team now. Trent? Nope. That's not going to work, Trent. Tries to strike from distance, but not really going to trouble Turner. Thoughts on the Ballon d'Or? Uh, Messi will probably win it. You know, you can argue about whether you think he deserves it or not, but I'd say he's probably going to win it. Triple change here for Steve Cooper and Nottingham Forest. It's because of the clocks going back. Then why is our game a two? Why did our game go back to one? See, that doesn't make any sense. If it's because of the clocks, because why didn't everyone's game go back then? Something with the police, as far as I can see. Yeah, we reckon maybe it's the police, and that's probably this the situation. But either way, look, it is what it is. It's a it's a half past three game. We want United to win, but we know that isn't going to happen. Said your daily sub lover. Yeah, look, it's one of the few occasions in life where a United result is probably the better one for us. We are almost at the 70-minute mark. Fell there on McAllister. Free kick to Liverpool inside our own half. Slightly left-hand side. Will Ten Hag make Christmas? Um, Yeah, I would say so. I can't see United sacking them in the near future. Why is Maka getting bullied? You mean getting fouled? 
Uh, that's the strangest critique I've seen of McCarthy. He's getting felled off the ball, and we're saying, "Why is he getting bullied?" I, I don't know how to where to go with that, mate. Honestly, I don't. Ebu out to Mo. Wasn't there a stat on if Mo scored today? He broke another record. I think it was the first five home games of the season, I think, if he scores today. I think it was another record for that, if I'm not mistaken. Do I listen to Kanye West? Absolutely, I do. Did we ever get confirmation what jersey he showed up in last night? Kanye West showed up at the, the Fury and Ganu fight in a Premier League jersey. I've heard loads of different guesses at which one it was. I don't know the answer. Some people say Liverpool. Some people say Chelsea. Some people say Everton. Keepers kits. I think it was some Spurs keeper kit. Give me that was. Very right. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was nuts. Nice lad, Kanye is class. His music certainly is, yes. Especially his early stuff. College dropout and the like. Absolutely top notch. From Mr. Kanye West. Right. His uh, other stuff, you know, his uh, off the ball work, shall we say, we'll, uh, we'll leave to the side. Yeah, his music, big fan. Fifty Cent or Kanye? Kanye. I don't think that's even close, by the way, either. Do I listen to Billy Eilish? Not just that one song, that one famous song that we all have heard. But no, I don't. What music genre am I a fan of? I've got a pretty eclectic musical taste, to be fair. Bit of everything, bit of rap, bit of uh, country, bit of folk music, bit of light rock, I guess. A uh, bit of everything, to be honest. Have you been affected by any floods in England, Craig? Be a bit fucking hard, considering I'm in Ireland. So, um, I mean, no. And I have an arc out in the shed anyway, so if that does happen, I'll just get the old two of, two of every animal in the Holden household and lash them into the arc and away we go. Naz or Ice Cube? Naz, obviously. Did I watch the Fury fight? I think I've answered this about 20 times today. I have, and it was robbery. I feel, my heart goes out to Francis Ngannou. Um, but the grace that the man showed afterwards was admirable. He's a class act, Ngannou. Costas now, left-hand side. Under pressure goes back. I mean, it hasn't been a great second half, lads, has it? Let's be honest. Oh, Foo Fighters are brilliant, Jaden. Foo Fighters are brilliant. Imagine going from being the, dr the drummer in Nirvana and thinking, now nah, I'm not done yet with the music world. I'm about to take over again. I mean, fair play, Mr. Dave Grohl. Absolute legend of a man. Always seems a real down-to-earth lad as well. Right, throw in Costas to Darwin. Switches the ball back across to Ebu. Do I listen to K-pop? Yeah, 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 loads, mate. Huge fan, me. Huge fan of K-pop. Oh, I thought you said K-hole. Sorry. No, I have uh, I have not partaken in um, the audible delights of K-pop. It's not something I've, I've spent any time really... 
uh, listening to. Cleared by Turner, only as far as Mr. Alexis McAllister, Sobosly. Trent. The lads need to score one more because my prediction was 3 0. So, you know, if you could be so kind, gentlemen, and uh, grab a third, that would be tickety boo. We need Endo on to liven this game up. Do you smoke za? Can I get that in English? What's za when it's at home? If you're saying do like the green stuff, I've been known to partake. Throw in forest. Toba sly. He goes long. Oh, uh oh. Here we go. Go on, Mo. Go on, Mo Lazzo. Mo Salah, Mo Salah, Mo Salah. Running down the wing. Salah, la, 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 la. The Egyptian king. I told you. Then I said to you not two minutes ago. They needed the third because that was my prediction. Cometh the hour, cometh the Egyptian king, Mohamed Salah, gets on the end of a long punted ball forward from Dominic Sobislai. Turner, the Nottingham Forest keeper, thought he had his Alison Becker tribute act on for a moment and then decided and remembered that he's not Alison Becker, misses the ball entirely, it falls to the great man, and he calmly side foots the ball home to make it Liverpool 3, Nottingham Forest nil. Mohamed Salah has broken another record the assist will of course come from Dominic Sobosly who Connor hasn't had an assist before today and that was two boom Salah records broken um oh god Turner uh yeah he's not gonna want to see that back but well done Mo calmness personified right foot slots the ball home and uh that should be that How many predictions will I have gotten right this season now, Connor? I want a pay rise. Everybody, can I have a pay rise? Tell Connor and Ben I deserve a pay rise. Put on your wages on the actual score prediction every week, then like over the course of the year. It's one thing I've never, ever, ever, ever put a bet on is a score prediction. Because if you get, like, let's say you go, you put bet 2-0 and your team goes 2-0 after 40 minutes. It's a very weird scenario watching the rest of the game not wanting any more goals. Well, like like. Yeah, cheeky. The, the state of them. So far behind. Don't worry, mate. You'll catch up eventually. I know you mean me, but, you know, I'm just having a bit of fun. Which record did he break? So if my memory is correct, and I only read this yesterday, I believe that it was the first five home games of the season now Mo was scored in. If my memory is correct. Uh, do I play Sky Sports Super 6? No, I keep forgetting to do it, is the honest answer. Here comes Endo now. The most natural substitution in the world. Darwin Nunes off, Endo on, obviously. So I will say we will safely see Mr. Uh, Mr. Cody Gakpo go through the centre now. Goal on the day for Darwin as well. So Endo on for the last 10 minutes. Endo's on there, but Endo will be out in my house later on. What's your favourite rapper? Jay-Z. Be lucky enough to see him twice. Do -do.
Right, 10 minutes to go. Oh, Ali comes. Gets a hand on it, but eventually we bring the ball away and clear it. Right, so do keep hitting that subscribe button, my friends. If you are new to the channel, it's great to have you with us. We appreciate your support. We'll have a match reaction coming up and player ratings later on as well. Gakpo now. Looking for Elliot, but it's defended by Forrest. Right, let me take you through the latest. So Everton won by a goal to nearly earlier on against West Ham. That goal scored by Calvert-Lewin. Villa are 3-1 up against Luton. Brighton won, Fulham won is the latest score as well. Manchester United nil, Manchester City nil after 12 minutes at Old Trafford. And a current live Premier League table looks like this. Uno momento. Uh, Spurs top with 26 points. Arsenal 24, Liverpool 23, Villa 22. City currently, but they will probably pick up a win on 22 points. Newcastle then on 17, Brighton on 17, and FC Manchester United of Manchester of FC, 16 points as well. Do I listen to any mainstream rap? Yes, mate, I've lots, as I said earlier on, I have a huge uh, eclectic musical taste. Right, so if you would like to join us for the match reaction, it is pinned to the top of the live chat now. So you guys can just click that when the game's over and we'll get straight into a match reaction. Then we'll all let you guys go watch the second half of the Manchester Derby. Where's Nulon? Again, we have to limit what we're doing today because of the broadband Wi-Fi issues. So we're keeping everything basic, bitch, today, basically. So uh, apologies, but we'll, we'll give you double, double new law next time. Here comes Nico Williams on now for Forrest. Mangala is uh, off there for Nottingham Forest and Nico Williams on. Winner pool. Yeah, we'll take that. Winner pool's better than, than loser pool. We'll take winner pool. I don't think your wife's going to hit the end of it after this. Sabrina! Sabrina! Come in here and take your scolding. It's 3-0 to Liverpool at the moment. 3-0 Sabrina against Nottingham Forest. 3-0 to Liverpool. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. You're stupid smelly Nottingham Forest. 3-0. 3-0. You have to find me some sort of consolation prize to keep me happy for the rest of the day. Uh, a drop of internet. <laughs> Yes, three nil, Sabrina. Three nil. Three nil. Well, I, I need a, a present for every goal that was scored against. I've got your present. Oh, will I get three of them? Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Nothing new there. I mean, there was so many jokes in that little exchange there that you probably didn't pick up on all of them, but just now I'm bleeding hilarious. What team does your wife support? Forest. Yes, my wife's a Forest fan. She was uh, she was part of a scout troop and her parents were scout leaders when she was younger and they used to go to Nottingham a lot for, for scout jamborees. And um, yeah, she's been to... Forest ground a few times and been over to Nottingham a lot. So, yeah, she's a Forest fan. Sabrina won't be cooking for Craig tonight. <laughs> Nothing new there. I forgot the part where they brought me in around the club and gave me my birthday dinner in the players' lounge. Yeah, Sabrina got it in the players' lounge, apparently. That's all I heard. Sabrina, don't be ashamed. Don't be, don't be afraid to bake that peanut butter brownie now, you know, as a, as a forfeit. Oh, Forrest has hit the bar. 
Oh my days, what a strike that was. Oh my days. How did that not go in? What a strike. So, Manchester Derby still scoreless. Uh, apparently, it's not a great game either, by the sounds of it. You'll be in the doghouse tonight. Not at all. You guys should know my wife at this point. She's uh, put up with me for 23 years now, so she's well used to it. She wouldn't want it any other way, to be fair. She ever forever saying to me, Craig, I want it that way. So, you know, I am a man who delivers. Four minutes to go, plus stoppage time. And it's uh, still Liverpool who lead uh, Nottingham Forest by three goals to nil. How do you find the time to listen to music? You're always working. I usually listen to music while I'm setting up work. Connor often uh, logs in to hear my shit musical taste as he's setting stuff up. I can't hear just the YouTube <laughs> Same thing. It's like being live at the concert then. Uh, third goal was scored by Mohamed Salah, mate. Mohamed Salah. Cross in from Nico Williams, headed away by Ebu. Ball back in, goes behind harmlessly for a Liverpool goal kick. We have three minutes plus stop. It's time to go at Anfield. Liverpool leading by three goals to nil. Those goals were scored by Diogo Jota with the first one after a Darwin Nunes shot was saved. Second one came from Darwin Nunes himself with an assist from Dominic Soboslai. And Dom also was the assist maker for Mohamed Salah's goal, which was uh, the one that put Liverpool 3-0 up. Just like buses, no Soboslai assists, and then two come along at once. What music does Connor like? Ooh. Uh, he loves Oasis. He likes, who else do you like? The uh, uh, the Article Monkeys. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to write, art. Is that I was at a gig, he sent me a video. I said, uh, I meant to say, is that the Arctic Monkeys? And he said, is the, I said, is that the Article Monkeys? Which quite frankly is a better name. Fontaines. They're another band you like, isn't it? Yeah. Will Young. Yeah. Thoughts on in excess. I mean, it's a long time back there for obviously sadly the lead singer passed away, like, but uh they're from Australia, right? Or New Zealand or something, if if I'm not wrong. Right, we are into the final ninety seconds of normal time. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Damn right, ain't nothing but a mistake. I don't care what anybody says. That is a belter of a song. Many a night in my house growing up when I was 17, 18, 19, where me and my friends sitting around the table in my kitchen drunk, singing certain aspects and parts of that song. We all had our own part. We all did. Best concert you've been to? Um, it's probably Garth Brooks, to be honest. Garth Brooks or the Fugees? The Fugees were amazing. I've been to see Oasis loads of times, and it's a given that Oasis are brilliant. I've seen Oasis and The Prodigy in Cork. Um, I'd say Garth Brooks, though. The Fugees were nuts. That was really fun. Scooter was good as well. Jay-Z. I've been to a good few good gigs, to be fair. I've been lucky. These days, though, uh, it's just comedy events for me and the wife, usually. Four minutes added on at the end of the game. Four minutes. James Blunt. Say what you want about James Blunt's music, but the man is absolutely fire on social media. I mean, 
some of his stuff has been hilarious over the years on social media. Sober Sly. Tomo. Doctor, doctor, I have a fear of the Backstreet Boys. Tell me why. Boom. We are the cheeky girls. You are the cheeky boys. We are the cheeky... Who inflicted them on the world? Are there seats at Anfield? No, mate. Everyone does a handstand for the, for the game. Favourite comedian? Oh, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Bridges. Um, Jim Jeffries. Brian, thank you for your super chat. So kind. $49.99 from Mr. Brian, LFC USA. He said, for the wonderful Sabrina and her unfortunate rooting interest. Don't worry, she'll get a rooting later on, Brian. <laughs> Oh, you can't give me that material, Brian. No, you're not. You've got to make sure the Starlink's stable for the upload. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Brian. You're a very kind man. Brian, have you sorted out Fenway Park yet <laughs> for the live show in Boston? Louis C.K. is brilliant as well, Jacob. I went to see Louis C.K. in Dublin. Um, it was a very good show. Fluffy. We love a bit of Fluffy. Yes, went to see Fluffy very recently. Uh, at the start of October, we were at Gabriel Iglesias in Dublin and uh, really good as well. Car check at United. I think it might be VAR. <laughs> Not 100% now, but I'm, I'm guessing it's VAR. Could the owner of a Volkswagen Passat registration Forrest look at the play out. Sobersly wins it, gives it to Mo. Mo to Alexis. Alexis. Dispossess wins it back. Elliot. Ball around. Gakpo. Goal, is, I'm just looking for the flag, is it up? Goal, 4-0, Cody Gakpo. I mean, it's just a perfect scoring day for everybody at the Reds. Darwin, Salah, Jota, Gakpo. Boom. Goal, 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 4-0. Let's have a look, make sure he's onside. No, he's off. He's off. He's offside. Definitely offside. Penalty for City. So that was confirmed as offside. And right, he was offside. He was just a little bit ahead of the plate. So my 3-0 score prediction is safe. I'm sure that's what Gakpo was really concerned about there. To make sure that my score prediction so no goal confirmed it's still three nil we're in the final seconds here of this one and we have a penalty to manchester city in the manchester derby and he scores Haaland with the goal Right, it is all over at Anfield, my friends. The referee has put the whistle to his lips. It has ended Liverpool 3, Nottingham Forest 0. Of course, though, our main concern and our thoughts today are with Luis Diaz and his family. We all hope and pray for the return of his father safely. Uh, goals today from Mohamed Salah, from Darwin Nunez, and from Diogo Jota. I nearly forgot who opened the scoring. 
so one nil to Manchester City as well in the derby there in Manchester. Erling Bro Haaland from the penalty spot. Again, thank you to our sponsor, Surfshark. Don't forget that you can get Surfshark for just over two euro a day with three months free by using our Anfield Agenda code at checkout or scanning the QR code on the screen. Thank you so much to Surfshark for all the continued support of the channel. I am going to be going to do my match reaction in one moment. You can go by clicking the link at the top of the live chat. I will see you all over there in two minutes' time. Thank you to Connor and Ben for making this stream possible today. And thank you to you guys, of course, for your support. Brian, again, for all your generosity, mate. Thank you. 